Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Brandon University, host site of the DNA Swag Men's Hoop Classic Gold Medal Match. Today's matchup is going to be the Fredericton Black Cats and the Sussex Sonics. At this moment, we have 12 teams to leave the lineup. And for fans who do rise in fable, remove your caps for the singing of the Canadian National Anthem by Bethany Robertson. Dr. Martin Moraes' orthodontists, Adored Beef's Apothecary, Action Fasteners, Milwaukee Power Tools, Mexi Rosas, Stingray Media, New Country 96.9 FM, Q103, Martin's Rock Station, and Advanced Physiotherapy. match of the 2022 DNA Swag Hoop Classic. And it's a classic matchup against of the Sussex High Sonics and the Fredericton High Black Cats, both previous champions. The Cats six times and the original winners. And they're matched up last week. Sussex came out on top, FHS down a starter. So you'd think advantage Sonics, but here we go. We're going to find out on the court. Connor Humphrey runs it down to Aaron Walker. Matthias Muscroft. Look at this matchup. Muscroft and Mumberkett. Yes, please. Give me two hours of that. Anytime I can get it. Hooky, baseline, pull up. 
back rim. Fought for, won by George Walker. To Matthias Muscroft on the move. He's gonna bank it in, soft touch. Moving left, righty shot, tough one. Made it anyway on Mumberket. Owen Black here running the point. Mumberket going baseline on Aaron Walker. Foul call, and George says, send him to me. I'll help you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what that motion was. It's all right. You don't have to commit a foul. I got him. Matthias Muscroft on the run. He's got Humphrey ahead of him. Humphrey, nice handoff to George Walker. Laying it in. Sharing is caring for the Sonics. George laid it in. Mumberket on the handoff. He's going to go in. Little Euro step gets hit. He's going to go to the line for two free throws. And it's on Muscroft, his first. Cat. Two for two at the line, 4-2 early here. Sussex, five, these all five guys on this floor can make a three, can put the ball on the floor, can defend. It might not be quite as deep or experienced as the Black Hats in total. Oh, the good box out. And taken right back, you can't rest against these Sonics at all. And inside goes George Walker, laying it in. Liam Wallace thought he had a rebound secured on the other side, didn't. Now Wallace driving in, he's gonna get, he's gonna get free throws. And Mark Muscroft up early. The transition D not to his liking at all. And already three team fouls on Sussex. Luckily, one on each of their three power trio. Nice when you got a guy offensively talented as Ben Hookie that doesn't fall in your top three. Hookie can shoot the ball. But the top three guys really, Walker, Walker, and, and Muscroft, <laughs> they got to remain on the floor. Now Fredericton with a foul there on George Walker. He's going to go to the line for two free throws. It's no uh, mystery <laughs> offense that Sussex is running. No mystery at all since they've run the same thing since 1892. The Sussex wheel, and there's a reason they've been running it since 1892. I tease the Sussex fans. I love you guys, but... It's, uh, it's part motion, part flex, you know, part just read and react. It's a part, it's all of those things and, and more really, but the, <coughs> the wheel motion offense for Sussex has worked year after year after year. Mumberket, yeah, gets called for a travel. That's probably a right call. He was belly up defense by a bunch of Sonics. Black here trying to deny Humphrey. The absolute unparalleled, unquestioned fan favorite in Sussex. And that's going to be too early. And Coach Muscroft not happy. And he's going to leave George in. So that's going to be a problem. It's going to that's going to be the storyline to watch as we go through this first quarter. As Blackie are not able to finish, Muscroft pushes it ahead to Humphrey. Humphrey back to Walker to Muscroft. Hookie all the way around to George Walker. Not there. Blackie stepping in. 
cleaning things up nicely was Wallace. Oh, he took a tumble face first. Hope he's all right. Fans, if you're watching. And Wallace, there's some concern over there. Fizio's right over to him. Helping him up. Jordan Gillis, a former player in this tournament. And a kid I loved as a player when I was around Coach and Review. And there's definitely some blood they got to clean up. I think he, I think he's, I think he's got a bloody nose. I hope that's all it is. And we got good luck earlier with McNaughton. We had two injuries late at the end of that game, and they both looked concerning. But luckily, if you're watching, fans. Um, uh, it was there. Neither of them are serious. So really, really good luck that we had with that. Look, that both could have been bad. But Ryan Stultz looked like he turned his ankle pretty badly. Turns out it's pretty minor. He was walking okay after the game, limping a little bit, but he's okay. And then, then uh, Jaden Johnson looked like it was we had concerns on a knee, but. He just, turned out he just banged, just got hit really hard in the soft spot in the knee. A stinger and a bruise probably, but nothing more than that. So we got lucky, so hopefully we got lucky here with Liam Wallace as well. He's had a very good tournament, has Wallace. Coming in as a guy who's also had a pretty solid tournament, Quinn DeVries off of the bench. <laughs> Bram Russell, the assistant coach of FHS. Having an ongoing conversation with our referees. I don't know if it's, if the conversation is over yet, but we've got a replacement on the floor for the free throws is Quinn DeVries. Up and in with the first is DeVries. 8-4 now, 7-14 on the clock. Up and in for two. So 7-11, clock running first quarter. The 2022 DNA Swag Hoop Classic Championship game from Crandall University. Our generous and awesome and wonderful hosts. Muscroft. It was eight, yeah, it was Quinn DeVries that came over to help. So Matthias Musgrove bounces through. We've had some college coaches in the gym the last couple days, and Matthias is certainly a topic of discussion, as are the Walker brothers. Mumberquette, no doubt. A lot of guys, both university and small college getting looks them there's some guys here that are destined to go CIS a couple guys though be perfect in the small college league maybe a chance to develop there and go CIS we got some oh Walker to Walker but Mumbercat stepping in defensively Nicely done by him. Oh, and Humphrey comes through and steals the handoff. And lays it up and through, through DeVries. Yeah, waited for Jacob Christie to fly by. DeVries, Black here. Black, you're gonna key a three, short. Well boxed out by the Sonics, Humphrey. Goes to George Walker. Back to Humphrey. Hookie. George Walker now. Watch closely by DeVries. Walker, back rims. Rebounded by Jacob Christie. Mumberkett now on the move. He finds DeVries. DeVries long on the three, but Mumberkett on the rebound. 
gets his own, goes up, now he gets hit. And that's gonna be two now on other Walker, both Walker brothers now saddled with two. Checking into the game is Marcus Evans. As more crowd files in here. That must be my man Adam Stretch's girls team. Yes, it is. Bringing them after practice. He specifically mentioned to Coach Mar Mark Muscroft last night he wanted to bring his girls to watch his son play purely because of how he handles himself, how he conducts himself on the court through ups and downs, through positives and negatives, through misses and makes. The man's expression <laughs> never changes, never. And his dad last night was marveling at his son and how that is the case because he said he certainly wasn't that way and neither am I. Oh, the, the feed from Black here, the rejection from Evans. Says no, Walker on the attack. He's getting to the glass. The lefty. You know he wants to go left. He's so effective going that way, but he still gets there anyway. Cam Evans. Up and in with the first is George Walker. People think the Walker brothers are twins. They are not twins. They are not twins. Aaron is in grade 12. George is in grade 11. I get it. They're both terrific defenders. They're both solid off the bounce. They both look, they look alike. They are not twins. George now. Oh. Challenge. Ooh, DeVries got into him and he gave him a little shot, letting him play. Evans back to Walker. DeVries didn't flinch. Oh, DeVries gets caught on the reach in. That's two now on him. So Logan Choi comes in, as well as Wyatt Audu. That's going to be a foul. On, oh, no, he was out of bounds. Before the, must have been before the foul. <clears throat> or they just didn't think it was enough contact. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Black Cat's ball, Black Ear. Oh, boy. Took a shot there, but <clears throat> no foul call. Black Ear had it over the top on Humphrey. George Walker, Evans, Matthias Muscroft, Mumberkett, watching him closely. George Walker, long three, doesn't go. Choi, stuck eight, 14-6 are the Black Hats. Having a tough time with this Sussex team defensively. Mumberkett now. Long three, Adu, not there. Struggling to get looks against this tough Sussex D, are the Cats. Walker now, wheels inside, finishes on the other side with the left. Clever. Underneath the hoop is George. Choi now, reverses field. Oh, good look to Mumberkett, but good hands from Matthias Musgraf, but Blackier. Gets back, led a little too much there by Humphrey. Humphrey smacks it out of bounds and stays with the Cats. Logan Choi. Cam Evans. Against Marcus Evans. More similar names on both teams. Had that all day today. Only serves to make a 
dummy like me more confused, but I'll manage, fans. I'll manage. George Walker. All the way around. Oh, the play call worked fine, but Jackson Work just let him a little too much over there. Jackson had a little glory at halftime of the bronze medal game. Someone from Sussex was drawn <coughs> in our draw to win the $750 via rail pass. Black here, after all of that, picked out a foul. Let's see who it was on. I think it was on Humphrey. <laughs> that was 10 seconds of intense defense right at the end. Connor got caught. Coach Muscroft and him are having a chat about it. Black here, that's a relief for Cats fans. Gets one to go, 16-7 now. 2.25 on the clock. Down it goes. So, George Walker now. Swung all the way around in the wheel. The wheel goes round. Oh, Walker with a nifty little behind the bass. Back pass, Musgrove creates an opening for him. Three is good for George Walker. 19-8 now, Sussex, 156 clock running first quarter. <coughs> UCLA cut for Adu. Adu is going to attack Wark. Nothing there. Looked to me like it was a... Wark took it right on the chest. <laughs> I agree with you, Mark. Nothing more you can do as a defender than that. Anticipate, take it on the chest. Didn't get the call, it happens. Those are the hardest calls in, in, in basketball. The block charges, Blackyear gets it up off the glass. Difficult finish Owen from Owen Blackyear. And Muscroft, Blackyear rebounds the miss. Pardon me, Evans. And now Cam Evans dances, doesn't get it to go. But Cam Evans is going to have two free throws. Evans. Walker able to secure the rebound. <laughs> I was trying to get Dave Taylor to get his to get his baseball arm ready to distribute it in those shirts to the right guys. I'm gonna have to get one for one of those kids that missed one. Owen Black here. Down to Mumberkett, 10 point lead, 46 seconds left on the clock. Adu, oh, the three doesn't go. Mumberkett and Muscroft fighting for that board. Bounce to Humphrey. Evans, down low to Muscroft. He's going to go to work down there, and he does. Lays it in with the left hand. Sheds Mumberkett with the spin. And Mumberkett's no joke defensively either. I love that they're matched up against each other. Terrific players, both. Oh, Black here, the crossover loses it. Wark, oh, dribbles it off the back foot. Black here now, able to collect and score. Athletic from Owen Black here. Muscroft knows exactly how much time he's got. So, probably going to put some time back on the clock. So they're going to put some time back on, yeah. Mumberkett, that's a bad one. Late in the quarter, one second left. Yeah. 
Down with the first is Jackson Wark. Extending that lead to 11. Chance to go to 12 here. Only one second. Going to back off. It's the right move, because if they make a half court one, then good on them. And as we go to the first quarter break, 25-13, Sussex. The DNA Swag Men's Hoop Classic would like to thank its gold level sponsors. Dr. Martin Braces, Orthodontist, Adored Beast Apothecary, Action Fasteners, Milwaukee Power Tools, Mexicali Roses, Stingray Media, New Country 96.9 FM, Q103, Moncton's Rock Station, and Advanced Physiotherapy. And I'm going to list through the rest of our sponsors, two fans, super quick here. Crandall University, unbelievable hosts here. So cooperative, so uh, just agreeable to everything. Great stuff. Um, City of Moncton, of course. Moncton Chrysler Jeep Dodge. We'll get to them more in a second. Riverview Minor Basketball Association, Moncton Minor Basketball, Dieppe Basketball, TH Sports Group, and 506 Elite. And the DNA Swag Hoop Classic would not have been possible without the support of Hyatt Place Moncton. The kids and the coaches have raved about the service and the accommodations at the hotel. Ida Cast, Via Rail Canada, IHOP Signway, Collishaw Auto Financial, Little Caesars, and Fresh Start Digital Marketing. People want to people are bother me still for the access to the VIP lounge. Yeah, we got a VIP lounge here, fans. We're fancy. Maxis supplies uh, supplied us with uh, everything we needed there, so I might as well mention them. Maxis is unlike any other Mexican concept out there today. Often copied, never duplicated. They truly provide authentic California-style Mexican food in their restaurants. They incorporate the simple earthly ingredients of northern Mexico with the subtle blending of spices and flavors of Californian cuisine. Visit them at 683 Main Street in downtown Moncton or at MexicaliRoses.com slash Moncton. They did great work for us this week. We had our little session there last night with some coaches that came by. Enjoyed some food and some drinks on us. Got to know some, some of the fellas. And then today, Georgetown, the Georgetown coaches liked their experience so much at Mexi's. They took the entire team there after their game today. So we appreciate the support of Georgetown. They were an unbelievable team to have here from just west of Ontario, west of uh, Toronto. Christy to Black here, back to Christy. He's been automatic from there with his feet set. Misses that one though, Matthias Muscroft. Matthias Muscroft, I don't want to get that wrong. I had a buddy in university went by Mat Matthias, so that's what I want to say, but his mom would be very upset with me. I know that from last year, Mrs. Muscroft. I don't want to do that to you. Matthias. Jacob Christie on the foul. 25-13. Cats stuck 12. 9-20 remaining. Both. Evans with a good shot fake. And good signs. Look who's back on the floor. Ooh, that's a toughie. Those fouls are toughies. But back on the floor is Liam Wallace, so good signs, Black Cats fans. Fan foul there on Evans. So, Got to watch themselves a little bit, do the Sonics. All three of their big guns got fouls early. Blackier bangs oh, in a three. He's, Blackier's keeping the Cats in it. Walker with the penetration. Nice kick. Evans long. Blackier on the rebound. Blackier's going to push. Can't get it over Evans. 
Oh, and Mumberkett. Muscroft didn't see him coming. Mumberkett, coast to coast, lays it in. 25-18. Little run here for the Cats. Walker behind the back again to Muscroft. Not there, run down by Mumberkett. Connor Humphrey, he's gonna pull up. Not there, good box out from Black here. And it's off of Black here. Black here wanted a smack on the hand, it's all right. Coach Mike King. FHS Black Hats as always. Just perfect guess. The kids, great kids. Oh, that is great. How is that? I th can't believe, <laughs> neither can Mike King. It worked out okay, they got the ball back. I can't believe there was no call on that. I was in shock, I was anticipating the whistle, it didn't come. Lance Mumberkett now, fake handoff. Back to Christie. Christie on the bounce. Oh, that's a good find. Oh, back rims, did back rim in the three did Wallace. Good offense, though, by the Cats. Getting good stuff here now. Muscroft, Muscroft left open, forget it. Book it, 28-18. That wide open, forget about it. Black here, Humphrey. Wallace, back to Black here. Oh, back rim the three from the same spot. And now Sussex out on the run. Muscroft with a hesitation move, met by it. Mumberkett, doesn't matter. Bounces off of him, so smooth. 30 to 18, Sussex answering the run of the Black Hats. Nice feed from, to Cam Evans from, Le from Lance Mumberkett. Nice pass, perfect from George Walker. Mumberkett thought he had him denied, but it, just a perfectly placed pass over the top. Wallace now, he's gonna attack. And it's a block and it's an and one. Liam Wallace coming back from the bloody nose. Laying a beating on the Sonics on that move. Logan Choi checking back in for Black here. So the Cats doing what they can to hang around here. Haven't played super well. And of course, Matthias Musgroft and George Walker have been doing their thing. Looks like they're gonna keep Aaron maybe on the bench with his two. They want him, at least they started on Mumber, started him on Mumberkett at the start of the game, but they're Still up nine here, nothing to panic about. So if there's gonna be somebody that sits for a minute. Oh, Cam Evans on the follow. Now he's got another chance. This time he puts it in. So maybe keep Walker over there with his two. So you can have him to start the second on Mumberkett if that's your plan. That might be what Coach Muscroft's thinking. While you're maintaining your lead, but timeout Sussex, or pardon me, Black Hats. I want to chat some things over. So DNA Swag Hoop Classic thanks Dr. Martin Braces for their support. Dr. Martin Braces are experts in orthodontics who create beautiful smiles with braces and Invisalign for confident, brighter futures. Visit drmartinbraces.com or their Facebook page to learn more. And Adored Beast Apothecary is the culmination of decades of experience in the trenches of holistic healthcare by founder Julie Ann Lee. Julie has spent her life learning and teaching others how to provide healthy, holistic care to our pets. Use coupon code HOOPCLASSIC at checkout at adoredbeast.ca to save 20% or email our pet concierge team at questions at adoredbeast.com with your pet concerns for personalized product guidance.
All right, fans, so 527 left here, first half by a third, pardon me, seven point lead for the Sonics over the Cats, 32-25. Matthias Musgraf to Walker, George, Jackson Work, swings it, gets it all the way back around to Walker. Walker spins on Evans, can't get it to go though. Evans, yes, wasn't established back in the Back on inbounds yet. Way out to work. To start the offense. George Walker, Matthias Musgraf. Wallace. Oh, the spin. Good, well defended there by Liam Wallace. Mumberkett now, facing up against Musgrove. Not there, all the way over to Jacob Christie. Sweet release of Jacob Christie. He's had a couple of big games from three-point land in this DNA Swag Hoop Classic. Wallace over there challenging Musgrove on the sidelines. Bouncing back nicely after his Face bounced off the floor earlier. That looked like it could have been tough, it could have been bad, but he cleaned up the blood on the floor. Muscroft stepped through. Ooh, could have got his second there. Lucky. Smart refereeing. They know who that is. They know. Oh, nice look. Two points this time for Jacob Christie. Not that they make different calls based on the quality of the player, but if anybody's a key player to another team, they don't want him to get his second or his third or a key foul on something nickel and dime. The referees are, that do these games for us, these bigger games, are too smart for that. So they, that would go both ways, Sussex and Fredericton. Oh, Mumbercat. All the way, lays it in, and we are tied. The comeback of FHS is complete. George Walker, Jackson Wark. Sending Hooky through, past the feet of Muscroft. He's able to collect. Spinning on Wallace, good, def good defense by the Cats, and they're gonna force a 24 second shot clock Violation. Jacob Christie to bring the ball up. And a nice move inside to get to the glass by LeBlanc and cleaned up by Mumberkett. Walker, oh, that's a sweet feed off the wheel. That's what that wheel will get you if you run it right. Evans dropping a dime to Muscroft right where he needed it. Choi on a jumper, wide, rebound, up, missed by DeVries. Choi, again to Christie, no, side rims it. Hookie, up to George Walker. Matthias Muscroft, oh, yeah. I was gonna say that was money, I, I would have called it early though. Mumberkett corrals the rebound. Gonna use the screen of LeBlanc. Now he's going to get all the way to the rim. It's going to be a charge, yeah. He was outside the semicircle was Ben Hookie. Took one on Mumbercat. That's going to be his second. 2.03 remaining before halftime. We'll see. He might be... Might be a candidate to take out before halftime. We'll see. 
they might give him a couple minutes. Only two to before halftime, so they may they may just decide to rest him for the rest of this half. So 203 before halftime. 34-34, exactly what we wanted out of our Pardon me, fans. Our gold medal game here of the 2022 DNA Swag Hoop Classic. Full gym here at Crandall Gymnasium for the matchup. The big attraction coming in a couple minutes. Somebody in this gym is going to have a half-court shot for a vehicle, courtesy of Moncton Chrysler Jeep Dodge. Speaking of them, win or lose tonight out there. Visit MonktonChrysler.com and browse the selection of the number one dealer in all of Atlantic Canada. That beautiful car has been out front of Crandall all weekend on display. George Walker on Mumberkit, staying on the floor. Got to be careful. Matthias Muscroft, Choi on him now. Work. George Walker, Mumberkett, Walker, the difficult shot in and out. Kind of a strange one. I don't know if he thought he was going to get hit. Ooh, that was almost backcourt. Had to be careful there. Nice move. Oh, Christie just not able to finish. The layup, too strong. Matthias Muscroft, crossover. He finds Walker. Walker's going to rain a three. Not there. Evans, weak side for Sussex. Hookie all the way around to Walker. To Matthias Muscroft. Work to George Walker. Muscroft. Crossover. In and out. Boy, that hit every part of the rim. Good a hustle from Ben Hookie. And acts as a doorman for us. Thank you, Ben. Acrobatic save from Hookie. Subs for the Black Cats. Smart one there by Coach Mike King to get Mumberkett out. Under a minute remaining now on defense at this end. Cam Evans in. Black here returns. Oh, lovely out of bounds. Trying to get a Walker. Clever, trying to get another foul. Cam Evans was smart. Stayed vertical, got up in the air but stayed vertical. No harm done. Black here using that screen at the top, trying to bank one in, not there. Jackson Wark with the bullet pass to Walker. Walker tries to spit it in left-handed. Didn't need to try to get so much contact. Walker now got it out of there to Hookie. Hookie with a three up and hits the stanchion. And <laughs> Coach Muscroft wondering why Walker just didn't go back up with it instead of playing with his food. Jacob Christie. Black here now, sending LeBlanc through. He knows what he wants, gets it. But Walker stepping through there. And now the Black Hats and the Sonics fighting on the floor for it. It's going to stay with FHS. Seven seconds left on the clock. Sussex up two. <laughs> our, one of our Georgetown drivers, Mark, out there on the floor, cleaning up the sweat. <laughs> Look at him multitasking. I love that man. I just met him two days ago. He's already my best friend. <laughs> He's been doing work over there for us. Oh, and turned over on the out of bounds play. The last thing they wanted, but turned right back over. Oh boy. Both coaches need some rollades in between the halves after that display. LeBlanc 
That might actually worked out okay for FHS. It's, it's still 1.6, but it's a much, much more likely you can get off a decent shot. No, they're just gonna. Oh, Ch Christy though, in his hands, I wouldn't doubt it. Came up short. Fans, we're gonna have our car potential giveaway here at halftime. We'll see you back here in 10. Well, that's your game tickets as we're going to be doing a draw for a chance for someone to walk out of here with their very own car. Make sure to get those tickets out right now as we're about to call the game. Fans, make sure to get those tickets out. So this is to win a car. If you're sitting there with the winning ticket in your pocket, too bad, so sad. Come on, check your tickets. Get those numbers ready. Here we go. Andrew Benson, you hear? Fasteners Limited Incorporated, 1976. It's a distributor of specialty tools and fasteners for contractors and professionals alike. Since Milwaukee Tools was founded in 1924, they have led the industry in developing innovative solutions that deliver increased productivity and unmatched durability. Together, they're exactly what Hub City construction professionals need. Visit the Action Fasteners Facebook page and MilwaukeeTools.com for more.
So thanks. One more prize, and that's been our last one. Uh, Trisha Arbo, where are you? Are you in the building? Trisha, where are you? There she is. Wait, Trisha, you can find me later. Trisha is the winner of our action shot contest. She sends in the best action shot from the first three days of the tournament. And uh, so give her a hand. Give Trisha Arbo a hand. And thank you from IdaCast for supplying a necklace worth five hundred dollars, which is now Trisha's. So thank you to IdaCast and thanks Trisha. Thanks everybody that sent the pictures. They were great. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the second half of the championship game, the DNA Swag Hoop Classic. We got a good one. 36-34. FHS as we tip off the third quarter, Matthias Muscroft. Oh boy, pardon me, 36-34 Sussex, that makes it 38-34. FHS running a little dribble handoff. Liam Wallace, Jake Christie, he's gonna pop a three, long. Cam Evans down there, but taken away by George Walker. Aaron Walker back onto the floor. He's got the two. He sat the rest of that half. I didn't take quick note of who he was matched up against. He started on Mumberket. And I speculated they were saving him for that reason. Humphrey, smallest guy on the floor, sneaks back door. Laid it up and in. No, they're gonna leave Aaron Walker over here on Christie, and that's a charge. Well done over there by Humphrey. And Christie, pardon me, Blackier, ran him over. I wonder why he's a fan favorite in Sussex. I wonder. George Walker using the screen of his brother. Ben Hookie. Looking for Muscroft, he got it to him. Boy, that was a perfect layoff. Liam Wallace wasn't able to get there. And now all of a sudden, FHS stuck eight, the first six of the half to the Sonics. Mumberket now. Christie. 
Not able to finish. Up and in for two there, Liam Wallace. Wallace now matched up on, on Matthias Muscroft. Comes over, takes the charge, Liam Wallace. That was impressive from Wallace. Coming off of Muscroft, getting in the way of Walker, taking it on the chest. We're going the other way. Christie watched closely by Aaron Walker. Oh, the oh, I spoke too soon. I said the finish by Black here, but it somehow spun out. Matthias back to George. Humphrey swings it to Ben Hookie. Hookie up off the glass, no good. Mumberkett with his third. And I believe George Walker also has a third. Yes, that is Hooky. Gave his head a shake there. I wonder why. <laughs> up and in for the second for Hooky. Here comes Black here. Up to Wallace. Wallace finds Christie. Back to Black here. Who's in the screen of Evans. Evans on the roll. Nice feed from Black here. Evans, nice feed to Wallace. Wallace up and in for two. Wallace. Muscroft to Hookie. Or pardon me, Humphrey. To Walker. Oh. Yeah, I think it's a good call. I get where he's coming from. I get where both coming from. I, Cam, I, yeah, I'm straight. Yeah, he, but he, you had that offhand down on the hip. That's what they saw. Walker has a second now, trying to push this lead out to seven. George Walker. And he does. Cam Evans now. Deals and deals. Humphrey gets back out to Black here. Hand up. Oh, ripped away there. Aaron Walker getting on the floor. Trying to find somebody to send it to before it gets tied up. But it is tied up. It's going to stay with the Cats. <laughs> Liam Wallace, Walker, was trying to talk the refs into giving Sonics the ball. Oh, nice little out of bounds play. Cam Evans not able to finish, though. And now <clears throat> a reach in on Evans. That's going to be three on him. Quinn DeVries into the game now. Quinn's had a Quinn's been really good off the bench for FHS. He's athletic. Can shoot a little bit. Good defender, rebounder, good athlete. Muscroft now back to Hooky. Hooky's gonna rise and fire for three. Doesn't go. Aaron Walker on the rebound. Back to Matthias Muscroft. He's gonna launch a three. Back rim. Rebounded nicely over there by DeVries. Black here on the attack, loses it, gets, gets it knocked away. Soon as anybody in a red shirt sees any part of that ball, they're going after it. Mumbercat's going to rise and fire. Back rims a three. Here come the Sonics. George Walker. Back to Hookie. Surveying the landscape is Hookie. See what, the, what kind of defense this is for FHS. Ooh, another second had George waited. There was Aaron wide open. He's going to shoot a fadeaway instead and make it. Oh. The lead.
lead up to nine now for Sussex. Similar start to the first half in that Sussex scored the majority of the points in the opening minutes. It's Christie from deep. Jake Christie, the grade 10 kid with the sweet stroke. He must have made 20, over 23s in this tournament just from the, unless he was ice cold on the other ones that I didn't see. Didn't survey every single score sheet for scores this week, but the games I watched him play, he was shooting that ball and he made another one here. Ooh, Ooh boy. I'm not sure of the rule on that. He wasn't fully across. I don't know if the ball crossed, but Matthias Muscroft, watched by Wallace. Good defense by Wallace. Muscroft gets it up anyway. Wallace on the rebound. Boy, he's been great since he came back from smashing his face off the floor. There he goes on the attack now, laying it in. Liam Wallace. And back to four. <clears throat> oh, Liam Wallace defending there on Musgroft. Musgroft couldn't get it up through Wallace's hands. Black here can't, can't make that one. Gets this offensive rebound off the miss from DeVries. Now it's on the floor, and Walker comes out with it because, of course, a Walker comes out with it. That one was Aaron Walker, George Walker. Boy, those ones are so tough. Boy, I know. FHS fans are going, dropped his shoulder. But he wasn't, he wasn't set. So what does it matter if he didn't take it directly on the chest? Tough calls, but that was the right one, I think. George Walker at the line. Up and in. Walker up and in for a second. Mumberkett. Liam Wallace on the fake handoff finds Choi. Oh, in and out from three for Choi and Humphrey in there with the rebound. Muscroft from really deep, really deep. Just doesn't matter how deep. He's got the range if he's in the gym. Wyatt Adu now in the game. Mumberkett, he's got to an answer, yes. Big players make big shots. Mumberkett, he's the FHS's answer to Muscroft. <coughs> So he's got to answer if Muscroft, DeVries, isn't able to finish. <clears throat> Avoided a travel by throwing it up there late. Hooky on the foul. I didn't see Coach Muscroft complain too much about the foul. Talking to Hooky about how to avoid it. DeVries had himself a nice week, Mr. DeVries. Short on that, but rebounded by Wallace. Wallace is a monster today for FHS. And now he's bleeding again. He's got his sub off. Jordan Gillis going to take him in again, get him fixed again, get him right back out here. They're going to need him. Cam Evans comes back with his three. I'm guessing. I'm guessing when Wallace comes out of the room fixed up again, he's going to come right back into the game, or at least he should. If I was the coach, that's what I'd be doing. He's been terrific. Defensively, too, he's been locked up with Muscroft a couple times. They're going to go zone now. Hookie to Muscroft. 
fumbled it a little bit. Adu giving Musgrove a hard time out there. Wallace to or wa Walker to Walker, pardon me, Aaron Walker stuffed. And Connor Humphrey. Connor Humphrey. Little jumper. Makes the lead back, to, puts the lead back at five. Mumberkett now. Hands off to Adu. Adu with the ball fake. Throws the defense. Choi. Choi's a good shooter. He's just not made one today. Humphrey now. He's going to have an open three. Banks it in. They're going to count the basket. But Aaron Walker gets called for one. <coughs> They're counting the three. Bank is open <laughs> for Connor Humphrey on a Sunday afternoon. The Crandall U. <laughs> he didn't call it, but they all count. <coughs> That's four now on Aaron Walker, and he's upset. Marcus Evans checks in, and Evans was terrific in the first half in the place of Aaron Walker. And that shot from three-point land from Evans, no good. Humphrey going to run things out top. Nice look from Muscroft down to Walker. He's going to head to the line for two free throws. Walker now with a chance to bump this to double digits now as we approach the end of the third quarter. The first one's good. Second one as well. <laughs> Lots of sore hands from teammates right now. Guys frustrated as they head off the floor. Give it an extra whack on the high fives. Mumberkett loses a man and makes a three. That gets the fans up. When you make a little crossover move that sheds a defender, breaks his ankles, you got to make it. James Harden does it. You got to do it, Lance. Hookie for the answer. No, it's long and rebounded by DeVries. Adu finds Mumberkett. Mumberkett, oh, the crossover again. Finds Choi. Choi gets it back from DeVries. Looking for a screen from LeBlanc. No, he's not going to use it. Gets all the way to the glass, does Choi. That's a pretty finish. That's a hard shot. Coming out of a spin, going over hands. That was tough. Walker now going baseline. Good defense there by DeVries. Vertical. He stayed straight up. Adu now looking for three. In and out. DeVries crashing the glass, but made the mistake of putting it on the floor around a Sussex Sonic. Musgrove takes it away. Oh, that pass got through. I wasn't sure about it when he went to throw it. <laughs> Logan Choi in the corner for three. Back rims it. Hokey collects. Muscroft up to Humphrey. Humphrey going to stroke a three. No, doesn't go. Mumber Cat on the rebound. He's going to have to shoot one at the buzzer. Not good. Comes up short. We're going to the fourth quarter. Sussex High Sonics with a 61 54 lead. So high up place Moncton fans combine style innovation and 24-7 conveniences to create an easy to navigate experience for today's multitasking traveler. Guests can enjoy thoughtfully designed guest rooms featuring distinct zones for sleep, work, and play, and free-flowing social spaces that offer seamless transitions from work to relaxation. 
They also offer a complimentary breakfast, indoor pool, 24-hour fitness center, and 3,700 square feet of meeting space. Visit HyattPlace.com for more and to book your next getaway. The kids and the coaches couldn't rave enough about the Hyatt Place fans, so please support the Hyatt if you're thinking of traveling and you're a Moncton area basketball fan. Look at them for your booking. TNA Swag Group Classic would like to thank Stingray Radio, Q103, Moncton's Rock Station, the new country, 96.9, for all their support. Listen to them live at q103fm.com or newcountry96.9.ca. <clears throat> and established in 2009, Advanced Health and Physio is lo locally owned and operated. They specialize in physiotherapy and massage therapy and pride themselves in providing a comfortable, personable, and individualized treatment setting. Specialized treatment areas include concussion, sports injuries, athlete development, and many other acute and chronic pain conditions. They are located at 1579 Mountain Road, and you can check out their Facebook page or website at www.advanced.com dash health dot ca <clears throat> the fans have been well taken care of this week by advanced health and physio and we've had some injuries this week Halifax West of course didn't play their game this morning they originally scheduled two. They just didn't have enough bodies left. They might they might have had seven for their game this morning if they'd had to play it. Oh, blocked by DeVries. Well done. And yeah, that's a good call. She was going to, I think, if you actually were giving it to who knocked it out, it would probably be Sussex ball. But that's a play where you either call a foul or you give the right team the ball. And that's what happened. Mumber kept. Short DeVries is an animal out there right now. Getting his hands on everything for FHS. I haven't seen Wallace return to the bench yet for FHS. Hopefully he shows up in the fourth quarter. Christie now. Hand off to Black here. Black here. To DeVries. Long on a three. Rebounded by Hookie. Musgrove now. <clears throat> Jackson Wark. Jackson Wark, handoff to George. Mark his way to Matthias. Good. Look at Matthias Musgrove. Black here. Handoff to Vries. Back to Black here. Black here into the lane. Oh, tries a little fancier. Oh, and he gets back in there for a steal and manages to save it. Well done by Black here. And Jacob Christie off the feed from DeBreez. Narrowed down the lead a little bit now. Oh, Black here with the steal. He's going to go coast to coast and lay it in. Timeout, Sussex, back to five. Here come the Cats and the Cats supporters. A love and life. So, so the DNA Swagman's Hoop Classic would like to thank its gold level sponsors, Dr. Martin Braces, Orthodontist, Adored Beast Apothecary, Action Fasteners, Milwaukee Power Tools, Mexicali Roses, Stingray Media, New Country 96.9 FM, Q103, Moncton's Rock Station, and Advanced Thero Physiotherapy. presentations after the game fans pardon me while I <laughs> all right so breaking the huddle here 828 left fourth quarter the final game of the DNA swag men's hoop classic
Jackson Wark running things out top for the Sonics right now. Evans back in the game for the Sonics. He gets it from Wark. Van Hookie on the catch. Looking for Muscroft, not there. The zone here of FHS bracketing Muscroft really well. He's got to get rid of it now. Walker's going to have to get it up against the clock. No good. Black here catches. DeVries gets it back to him. Now he's calling for a screen. Mumberket is the man on the screen. Black here. And Black is trying to sell that he was going to shoot that. That was a nice attempt. I like it. He felt the bump. I'm going to go into a shooting motion. <laughs> Referees didn't buy it. Oh, LeBlanc squeezes inside. Can't finish, though. Three from Ben Hookie. And DeVries looking back door to Mumberkett, not there, picked off by Hookie. Muscroft to Wall to George Walker. Pardon me, to Aaron Walker to George Walker. So Aaron's return with his four. Now Mumberkett reigns in a three. Big shot for a big player. 66-61. He's had a couple of huge ones in the last few minutes of play. Another three, this time from Christie. 66-64 now. Muscroft, watched by Christie. High post, again, had Walker second back door. Didn't need it, though. Matthias stroking the three, five-point lead. Christy. Mumberkett. Little jumper and it's good. Wallace has returned to the bench now for the Cats. Stolen now by Mumberkett. Cats on the roof. He's going to pull up for three. Back rims it though. And Aaron Walker on the rebound. Walker again, making things a little more difficult than he needs to sometimes in those finishes. Muscroft again, no. Big group of fans wanted it. Hooky decides not to take it. Back to Muscroft. Into Walker. Aaron now with the jumper. No good. And yeah. And one. Owen Blackier. Love and life. We could be tied here, and Wallace is ready to come back in. Cam Evans as well. So Wallace repaired, back in. We're going to consult on players of the game fans one moment. Muscroft again, and he gives 
Sussex the two-point lead. A three from Christie. A big one gives the FHS the lead now. 4.35 clock running fourth quarter. Warwick gets it to Walker. Walker now into the key. He's going to get up and drop in another floater. Walker, sometimes those baseline drives, he makes it harder on himself. Trying to shield, use his body to shield too much. Black here, rejection from Muscroft. Every now and then on the table, a little quick on the trigger there. It's got to be it's got to be reset when it hits the rim. Cam Evans in the corner, looking for Mumberket. Mumberket catches. He's got to put up a three. It's going to be short. Had, rushed it a little bit. Had a little more time than he than he thought. Sussex now one point lead. Walker back to Humphrey. Humphrey swings to Hooky. Aaron Walker out to Hooky. Hooky, short on the three. Rebounded Mumberket. Mumberket to Black here. Black here. Not there. Evans squeezes the rebound. Tries to get it to Liam Wallace. Walker now. Running things for the Sonics. Sitting back in this zone are the, are the Black Hats. Oh, rise and fire. Well defended there by Liam Wallace. Mumberket. Black here. Not there. Christie. Long with the three. Box out by Walker, but not able to collect. Feels like he got pushed. chances to do the reads here. Fans, I want to make sure we get everybody thanked here. Adored Beast Apothecary is the culmination of decades of experience in the trenches of holistic health care by founder Julie Ann Lee. Julie spent her life learning and teaching others how to provide healthy holistic care to our pets. Use coupon code HOOPCLASSIC at checkout at adoredbeast.ca to save 20% or email our pet concierge team at questions at adoredbeast.com with your pet's concerns for personalized product guidance. As I said several times this weekend, Adored Beast's products are used by a couple members of our, I don't have a dog. I'd use them if I had a dog. I don't have a dog right now. I love dogs. Don't think I don't. I just don't have one. But a couple of members of our committee do, and they use the products, and they use them before they were associated with us. This isn't a sell job, fans. A couple members of our crew use them, love them, swear by them. So check out AdoreBeast.com. Jacob Christie comes out of the corner. Only four seconds, three seconds. Liam Wallace on the run. Liam Wallace. He's been massive. On the run. Oh, Blackier got it to Evans. Evans didn't finish though. Back come the Sonics. George, shot fake, step in. No good. Cam Evans squeezes the board. 212 remaining. Mumberket. To Christie. 
Christie cross court to Block here. Block here on the bounce. The jumper in the lane is good. And the lead of the Cats is three. Black year have been huge. Hooky from three point range, it's wide. Oh, but Humphrey in there to clean it up, doesn't get it to go. Wallace on the rebound. Mumberket now to Wallace. George Walker disrupting things and a turnover. Aaron now to George. George, handoff to Humphrey, not there. Humphrey now looking for Aaron, not there, picked off. And Mumberket to Christie. And the foul over there on Aaron Walker, and that's going to be his fifth. That is just a bad decision by Aaron. He didn't need one yet. Almost a full minute left in a three-point game, and George regretting his decision immediately, I think. So these cats, resilient, down early, came back. Close game at half, down early in the second. Came back again, down a starter as well. So FHS looking to get their name on the trophy for the seventh time in the history of the DNA Swag Hoop Classic. So it's assistant coach Bram Russell out there shouting instructions. Coach Mike King, both terrific players in their own right. Run fantastic program at FHS. The kids have been awesome. Oh, Aaron Walker cutting off that pass, almost pilfering it there. Liam Wallace now to key it in. Finds Mumberket. Mumberket on the pull up. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, baby, big players make big shots. That's the biggest one of the game so far. Smooth from Lance. Oh, and Blackier there to pick, pick it off. Big defensive play by Blackier. And he's thrilled about it. Big plays late here from FHS. They've been the calmer, more collected team after Sussex been cool, calm, and collected all week at, all week here. Definitely the favorites coming into this final were the Sussex High Sonics. Coming off a win over these cats last week, playing so well all week, but not as together in this final couple of minutes. You know, a couple of ill-advised shots, a couple of ill-advised fouls. But yeah, the Fred and High Black Cats in the catbird seat for the title of the 2022 DNA Swag Hoop Classic here now. It's going to be Cat's ball. Liam Wallace on the sideline. Ready to kick it. Kill, ready to key it in here. Liam Wallace. He has been terrific today. Blackier gets it. Good pass from Wallace. That was a tough one. Sussex was everywhere. That had to be good, or else, and it was. Black 
Black here. Misses the first, frustrated. Still a two possession game, which is big. Sussex has shooters everywhere. Misses them both. Muscroft now on the run. Wants the screen from Walker. He's going to rise and fire for three. In and out. Rebound by Evans and the foul. And now Cam Evans is going to go to the line for two free throws. Muscroft not able to hit the big one. Problem was everybody knew it was going up. And everybody knew he probably wanted it from three. Still got a good look. Such as his handle and lift on his shot, but in and out. FHS, another chance to make this one up more out of reach. In and out again. Three straight missed free throws for the Cats. So it's still going to be a two possession game no matter what. And he makes it six now. Muscroft, going to have a wall here on him. He hands it off, back to Muscroft. They got two people on him. They got to move it fast. Black Cats, terrific defensively. Walker now rips it up. They need a three and they need it fast. Even if it goes, it's not going to work. And the Cats are your 2022 DNA Swag Hoop Classic champions. In a little mini upset over your Sussex High Sonic 79-73. Thanks for being with us on the live streams all week, fans. I'm Dave Tingley. I'm going to go present some awards now. Thanks for your views all week. We'll see you next year.